All right, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Dine Out. We just now opened our portable papaya restaurant yet again. Thank you to everyone that told me in the last part what was going on. The reason that the Sims weren't being seated, apparently their party was so huge that we did not have any area for them to go and sit at. So I placed this large dining area. That way it could fit a party up to eight, which... I don't even know if that many sims come together to dine out. Maybe they do. I'm not too sure. But over here we see our next door neighbors yet again uh, showing tons of support. I'm really happy that we're seeing them pretty often. There is Gwen Lovelace out with her daughter Athena. I don't... Well, I saw Haley over there, but I guess Haley was not going to join them. Oh, look, there's Alfonso. But I don't think he's eating. He's just over here jogging or not really jogging i don't know he's just wearing his athletic wear for no reason we'll go say hi to him real quick but before we get too distracted i oh i wanted to check to see how our employees are doing so we're gonna go here to manage employees carla has improved her mixology and her gourmet cooking a little bit i'm gonna have her go to training one more time before we go change the menu and start adding more difficult items to the restaurant we have our host over here and wow okay he caught up rather quickly so they're both on a great track i don't know if we need another host or i'm sorry another waiter just yet but we can save up to get one more in the near future and then arvin already halfway to maxing out both of the skills which is absolutely beautiful so to raise morale we're going to go here we're going to check up see how they're doing and of course we are going to pay for training because we need them to keep improving their skills. That way we can continue to improving our score over here, which I'm already surprised that we're a three-star restaurant already. That's pretty fantastic. I'm doing good, nothing new to report. Well, we'll praise them. We're also gonna pay for training and we'll get on with our way with welcoming everyone because I don't think that we've welcomed a few parties yet. So let me go do that before it's too late. That way, they feel like they are getting a lot of attention. And let's see what they've ordered. I mean, obviously, we don't have anything too incredibly fancy. Oh, that's the first sim I've noticed. Uh, oh, well, she was drawing on her placemat, but now the placemat is underneath. She got some pizza and some fancy drink. That looks good. I would definitely order both of these things. And what is this? A bagel? The everything bagel. Amazing. All right. Oh, Nancy Landgrab. Hello, she's all the way over here. That's kind of surprising, just because she is an incredibly wealthy sim. So um, maybe word is getting around town that her food is really good. Wouldn't it be cool if you could kind of like go around and like get sims to invest into your restaurant or something and convince them to just give you a bunch of money to jumpstart your little business? I would take advantage of that so much. And wow, Diane! Man, Diane is a regular over here. She really loves our food. She keeps coming back. Well, you know what? We're definitely going to go over there and welcome her. Uh, hopefully, she'll be seated right away. Oh, that's all kind of awkward and rude. Look at that. Haley is all the way over here, which is uh, Gwen's wife. You think that they would sit together because they're one family, but that's all right. And oh, that's the first time anyone's ordered some ice cream. Banana yogurt cone. That is such a massive ice cream cone. Holy crap. That scoop is like as big as her head. That is intense. I really want some ice cream now. It's been a while since I've had some. And I don't think I've ever had banana flavored uh, ice cream before. I think I would definitely try that though. I do like bananas. Oh, who's this? Okay, never mind. I thought for a moment maybe they were a critic or something just because they had a little tablet there but I don't think they are. Okay, we should uh, disallow new customers. We're getting kind of crowded over here. Let's go see how our other employees are doing real quick, just because I want to make sure everything is going okay. We will praise them. Oh, there we go. We can get a standard training now. Awesome, so we're moving up the ranks and they'll be able to start really improving their skills. Isn't this? I'm not sure, but I think this guy was really distracting us in the last part where he would just like not go away for whatever reason. Um, hopefully they'll be seated soon enough. Off-site training. Will there be an obstacle course? Don't tell me. I want it to be a surprise. <laughs> well, at least she's uh, pretty 
optimistic and excited about her training. I think that's the first time that we've read that particular line about the obstacle training. Let's go here with Carla. Maybe we can ask her to... Uh, oh, she's already doing it quickly. All right, maybe we should switch this to normally. Maybe that'll make the quality be a little bit better. Um, and we will pay for training again. We can't pay for standard training with her just yet, but hopefully that will happen soon enough. We're getting a whole bunch of four star ratings, which is great. Uh, we are paying for a lot of training here, but it is going to pay off eventually. I'm wondering how profitable these restaurants can be because um, right now we're not making that much money at the moment, but maybe it will become a pretty substantial income eventually. Let's just go check up on everyone, make sure everyone's doing okay. On average, it seems like we tend to get four star ratings pretty consistently, which is great. At least we're going in the four to five range. It's kind of rare when we get a five star rating, but it has happened before in the past. So hopefully we'll get a few more in the future. Uh, we will allow new customers again since everyone else has vanished and we have room for more. And it's not too incredibly overwhelming. And look at that, we're making a profit of over 200 simoleons. Beautiful. Now, I did make a club for the family. I just called it the papayas, nothing too crazy. And I have a feeling like once we have more space at the food, uh, well, not at the food truck, but at the restaurant, once we get it to be a little bit bigger, um, I could start gatherings over here. In fact, I guess I could just do it here for now. That way the entire family shows up. Oh, well, <laughs> I guess a lot of them were swimming or sleeping. Uh, I'll probably make... Oh, okay, I made it so that one of their priorities is to clean. So sure enough, they're going around and cleaning all of the dirty dishes. So I guess this would be pretty effective. That way <laughs> they can help us run the restaurant and they can kind of act as if they're waiters a little bit, but not really. Uh, I'm still a little bit surprised they're spreading around in their swimwear and underwear, but it's all good. Uh, I could also maybe, uh, I'm not sure if you can hire your own family members to be like entertainment or not. Oh boy, this is awkward. <laughs> Dominic just running into Maureen over there. I, you know, I think, oh my goodness. Okay, this is getting crazy. It's kind of packed here. Maybe we should ask the family to leave. I'm not sure. I also have them uh, to be friendly towards all the customers. Oh my goodness, this is... <laughs> the bathrooms are crazy busy right now. What is happening? All right, we're getting those four stars. It's all good. Whoa, looks like Katrina Caliente is on a date possibly over here. I've never seen this guy around town at all. I've never seen that hairstyle before where they're like balding at the top. Is this relatively new? Because I don't think I've ever seen this before. Whoa. Or maybe I've just never picked this hairstyle and noticed the top of the head before? I'm not too sure, but that's the first time I've seen a balding sim over here. All right. But yeah, no, no, no. Okay, the family can go home for now. We're going to end the gathering. It was very sweet of Brandon to come and pay a visit with the entire family. But in the near future, once we have a bigger establishment, then we can have the rest of the household come and keep us company and also help out by cleaning. And as I was mentioning earlier, perhaps we can maybe even hire certain sims in our household to provide entertainment or something like that. But it doesn't seem like that's the case. I mean, I could be wrong. Let's see how we're doing financially. Wow, okay, last time I checked we were at a 200 million uh, profit, but now we've gone up to 490, so we are really turning this around. Uh, we're a little bit hungry ourselves. Maybe we should go take a little lunch break. Let's go do that. We're going to go and request a table. You know what? I guess we should have a little taste test of our own restaurant because that's not something that we've done yet, I don't think. Yeah, let's go see what she thinks of the food. I mean, obviously she'll like it. What's the most difficult thing that we have on here? Okay, French toast. We're gonna go with French toast. That sounds really good right now, actually. I'm really hungry at the moment while I'm recording this. Looking at this menu is not a good thing. So we'll get that and... Uh, cappuccino. 
Why not? They're both difficulty uh, three out of five. So is this money just going back straight into our pocket? I don't really understand how that works. I mean, I guess we're still paying for ingredients and everything. So I imagine we still are not making a profit here, but it's okay. Now, this is the moment of truth. Hopefully the food will be good. I mean, so far, I think everyone has been very happy with Carla's uh, work over here. Initially, she was kind of a klutz, and she was always almost setting things on fire, but she has been really turning it around lately. Oh, right as I'm saying that, a random fire starts out of nowhere. I don't know if that ever stops, or if that's just an animation that happens regardless of what their cooking skill is. Maybe that's just something that happens forever. Uh, where is this smoke coming from? Um, okay, I thought she was like really stinky for a moment. I'm like, you should probably take a shower, Maureen, but no, 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 she's fine. All right, everything's cool. What are you doing? Why are you wearing, excuse, are you trying to cook food over here? Why are you wearing that, sir? Okay. Oh, whoa, oh, what is going on in here? Oh my, did they have to go over here to argue in private? What is happening? Don't take that. You deserve, yeah, mock his ass. <laughs> What is happening? Go back and eat your food. We have good food to go. Go, 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 go eat it. Oh, okay. Come on, eat your food. What is it? Is it? Oh, it's normal quality. Okay, I mean, it could be horrible quality. So at least, you know, it's not completely gross. It is three out of five difficulty. So I guess we have to cut her a little bit of slack. But, uh, we obviously still have some room for improvement. Now, did I pay for training for everyone? I don't know if I clicked on every single person. So let me go see. Let's go to manage, uh, pay for training. Oh, we forgot to go manage him. My bad. Look at that. Alex got a promotion to office assistant. Beautiful. Now, let's go and praise him again. And we will... Be sure to praise. I'm not exactly sure when we should promote. Uh, maybe we'll promote in their next shift, possibly. I'm not too sure when we'll do that. But we'll pay. We, I'm pretty sure I paid for training for everyone. I know I did it for Carla and Arvin. Let me just double check with Maureen if I did it or not. So, yeah, we already did pay for training. Beautiful. Okay, great. Uh, let's disallow new customers. This is going to be our last batch. Uh, we'll end our meal and pay for it. It's 94 simoleons. Oh, wait, we're not done eating yet. Just kidding. All right, we'll finish eating. Oh, are we going to go use the big fancy table? We are. There's only three sims here. I thought there was going to be a bigger party, but eh, that's all right. Oh, wait, what did this say over here? It's starting to get tired from working so long. Oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, we disallowed new customers. Don't worry, we're going to stop. We just got that message. I think that's the first time I've seen that message, actually. Um, so we'll finish this batch of customers and then we will close up shop for the day and Yeah, we have almost made 1,000 simoleons. Uh, the restaurant hopes you enjoyed your meal Oh, that's such a weird message to get at our own restaurant But I am glad that we can go and eat at our own restaurant. That is very helpful so we'll go here and we're going to welcome everyone because I need to do that before I forget We'll also check on the table, and then we'll be good. I, you know, today was a really good day. It wasn't too crazy. We didn't run into too many major bugs. The worst thing is that Daniela couldn't get to her seat at one point, but we were able to do it afterwards after we recued the actions. Um, after we're done closing the shop, I think I'm going to go to the gallery and look at what other restaurants are there. Um, maybe that way we can get a brand new look here because what we have here was a great starter build but we are definitely ready to expand now we also do have um quite a few more points oh we got another little half star sweet so yeah we have 1655 perk points holy crap oh whoa, whoa, whoa. fast eaters customers will eat their meals faster that does sound nice too inspirational speech unlocks the social interaction which can be used to inspire employees we can get another waiter curiouser customers increase how often customers request dish recommendations oh wow there's a lot 
Oh, make customers easier to impress with quick service and willing to wait longer before they get upset at slow service. That does seem pretty handy. A lot of these seem really useful, but yeah, I'm going to get this one for sure because sometimes it gets a little overwhelming and I can't like get to everyone. What's meal rush for 24 hours? Oh, this is only temporary. More customers will stop in your oh no we can't handle that just yet no no <laughs> just we okay that's so weird not weird but kind of cool that they have temporary rewards uh, is this one temporary oh no that one's permanent okay great huh take advantage of surplus harvest the cost of ingredients is discounted for 24 hours interesting i think that's the first time in any sims game they've had temporary rewards i could be wrong but uh, I think I might get Fast Eaters next, or well, let's see what's like the most expensive one. Unlocks an additional chef hat for your Sims. What? <laughs> Is it honestly just to get a chef hat? What's well managed? Lowers the chance of bad events happening on the restaurant while your Sim is away. Ooh, okay. Uh, ingredient discount. Tidy tippers. Customers will tip a bit extra on top of every meal. Okay, cool. Wow, there's a lot of awards. Um, let's go. Oh, no, no, no. Did I disallow? Yeah, I've already disallowed customers. So I think we're a okay. Uh, we'll just fast forward time a little bit. Daniela is a bit sleepy. Is there a bench nearby? Uh, there's a bench right there. Let's have her go nap for a little bit while our employees do their thing. I know we could go home and continue to run this, but I just want to see it in action. And everyone should be going home after this uh i got the scoop that some crazy party is happening at the bluffs right now dominic i'm sorry i'm busy we're on the clock right now okay we're over there we're napping on a bench in public it's fine we're just very dedicated to what's happening because we want to make sure to do the best that we can here there now she's feeling a little bit more energized we just have one last table to go and then we can finally have our poor employees go home because I know that they're very tired right now. But it's going to be well worth it because they're getting paid quite a bit. Both of them are going to leave with a four star rating, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, let's see. They we're done. All right. Oh, and look at that. Brandon also got a promotion on top of that. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay. Marina's... Very unsatisfied with her job. Try giving her a promotion or encourage her to improve her morale. Well, right now we're going to close. <laughs> but Marine, we'll give you a promotion next shift. I promise you. We had 698 simoleons worth of ingredients. Wow. Maybe we should get that perk to get uh, ingredients to be less money. Because that is draining a lot. Um, wages... Honestly, isn't all that much compared to ingredients. That, that's kind of surprising. Um, so I think, yeah, we definitely want to get the quick eaters one. That way we can get more Sims served. We were able to serve 27 within the 15 hours, which isn't too bad. And we also got a half of a star increase. All right, well, we stopped the shift for now. Uh, let's go into buy mode real quick. Uh, there's an ice cream parlor. Wow, that's a really cute starter restaurant. I like the look of it outside. It's so adorable. Uh, what else do we have around here? We have a Starbucks, five-star modern restaurant. Fancy. Um, how about we... Oh, yeah, like a diner. We could upgrade to a little diner. Can we afford this one? We might be able to. Uh, we have 30,000 simoleons at the moment, right? So I don't think we can. Or were we able to? Or is this separate? Like, are we using our household funds? I'm not sure. Oh, I guess it's selling what's on the lot currently. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is cute. This is really adorable. This reminds me so much of The Sims Online. It's crazy. Um, the Sims Online had this career mode where you could become a waiter and they had a lot of 50s diners that you would work at. But anyway, this lot is called Red Diner, and it's by uh, Jade and the girl. I don't know how to say it, but that's the one that we're going to be using for now. That's so... Oh, I like the red and yellow one a little bit more, so I'm going to go with that one instead. Kind of reminds me of McDonald's a little bit. But oh, I like the way that they did a little host station here with the condiments right there. That's adorable. And it seems like there's pretty decent sitting around here too. 
Um, so far I've seen parties of up to four sims at a time, so hopefully this should be enough to uh, fit everyone. So let's go back into live mode, and I guess uh, it already was renamed to Red's Diner. Um, I suppose we'll keep that name for now, but I might change it. Uh, we'll go back home now, finally. We'll spend a couple parts at Red's Diner, maybe until we become a four-star restaurant. And then after that point, perhaps we can get a more fancier looking place. And then once we get to a five star restaurant, um, I m might finally get around to building my own. All right. But anyway, that is all for now. And I'll see you all next time.